Okay. Hi everyone. I'm back. This is Gail Minogue working with numbers and numerology. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, if you want to reach me, you can always go to my website, gailminogue.com. Uh, I wanted to bring in the numbers on someone who's very famous, someone we're all relating to right now, and that's Kobe Bryant. And I thought I would go over his blueprint or what his life was all about and also this untimely and very sudden uh, departure out of it. So those are the couple of things I want to cover. So uh, once in a while I'm going to check my notes that I wrote. So this Kobe, his middle name was Bean as in vegetable, Bean, um, Kobe Bean Bryant, B-R-Y-A-N-T. He was born uh, August the 23rd, 1978. And so his sun sign was in the very last degrees of um, Leo, which is basically the kingly figure. And that's exactly what he was. But he had an 11 life path. This is huge. This is the inspirational. 11 life paths, the same life path as very, very famous people. Madonna, uh, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, very people who have left a mark, people who inspire other people. So this person, uh, Kobe Bryant, was in here partly to inspire and leave a message, which he did. Um, my sense in looking at his chart and the timing of all this, this was really, really, really an untimely checkout. People will tell you, oh, it's God's will, and it was his time, and I would say no. Um, this was more of uh, transits that had to do with aviation's time versus Kobe Bryant's time. It was what I call the perfect storm. You would set out, which they did, and the weather was good, and the perfect storm uh, uh, affected him. And that had to do with aviation and not Kobe Bryant. So it was like it took him out along with other people out, along with what we're doing with the uh, Boeing 7, whatever it is, 787 or 757 MAX, whatever this plane is that took a few uh, planes out last year is still a problem. So it's an aviation problem. And that's what he got caught up in because his chart is very powerful. He was just getting going with his life. But when, when we come in with an 11 life path, which he has, these are late bloomers. The second half of their life is even more powerful than the first half. So you take a look at uh, Ronald Reagan. He didn't even get going till he was well past his 40s. And Jimmy Carter had 11 destiny. He didn't even get going till he finished being president. And so you want to take a look at his life and his destiny, which is the number nine. His name uh, adds to the number nine. It reduces, the compound number reduces to the number nine powerful humanitarian. His work was about inspiration, inspiring people, a peacekeeper, and a, the destiny or where he was really going with all this was humanitarian work, was delivering uh, what I'll call relief of human suffering. That's where he was going with this. So we lost somebody, really that would have had a huge impact. And he will have a huge impact, but it was, it was stillborn. His life was really cut short due to uh, what we call the unintended consequence of aviation transits going on in the heavens and that's where they caught him it caught him up in it the pilot didn't know and basically here on earth we do not take into consideration forces that we can't control so we look at everything mechanical versus you know flying with instruments and all that we don't check into what i would call maybe the astral weather or what's happening is this a good time to even be doing that or what were the consequences of the perfect storm to meet at that time over the hills of Calabasas, California. And I, I would can, uh, lay out a foundation here that that was the cause versus anything to do with this was his time to go. It wasn't his time to go. Um, he, is, uh, he was in a, a transit time in his own personal chart where he was coming out of a seven year. A seven year is about rest, restoration, planning, reflecting. So he was coming into that and, it, and going into a very successful time, but there's no doubt in my mind. His personality is a channeler. He's an 11 personality. That's from his consonants is his name. The name really tells the story. It tells the story of everything that he was about, his issues, his shortcomings, um, you know, all of these type of areas. But he was basically just kind of coming into his own because, um, 11s and it had 11 personalities, it was a double master number. Oof. 
And so all I can say is he will probably return and complete his degree of his sun sign. It's interesting. He's a Leo at 29 degrees, which is the last degree of sign. And this is where you come in to finish, complete, collect, and to you know finish up stuff from other lives. So my sense is he will come back and he will complete, complete, complete. But as we come out of ignorance ourselves, as we come out of the dark ages that we have been in and that we're still kind of in, but we're coming out of, and I talk about this on other YouTube channels, I mean on other YouTube videos that I've made, um, that we literally will understand more about how the heavens work in guiding us here and how we cannot go against them. We have to pay attention and work with them, but we don't know how to do that yet. We just fly on mechanical uh, instruments and we go ahead by only what man-made has created. We don't look at this, the ancients did. They knew when not to go out in a ship. Uh, we still go out in the ship, basically not as prepared. We respect the heavens. We understand what's going on and the ancients knew, but mankind now is not. So we're just coming out of ignorance. We will know more and we will be guided to work with these heavenly forces in the future as we advance. But meanwhile, we're here on earth to do the best we can. And his life path definitely was cut short. He was a freedom loving person, but above all else, his, his letters in his chart really promote the number two, which is the peacekeeper. He had a very strong feminine side. I'm not surprised he has four daughters at all. This guy had a really developed a feminine side to him and it probably gave him great joy. So this is just a little snippet of Kobe, a powerful guy and his reasons why he uh, touched so many lives. He would have touched even more had he been around longer and done even greater work than he was doing with the Lakers. So it's really a, a sad day, but um, he probably will plan again and come back and work with the emotional energy and free will, free will choice. And we hopefully, we will know more about how to handle the heavens upon that time. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again.